Major Slack Attack. Hey, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk this more Starfield, and we have arrived in New Atlantis. And let me tell you, the first time I took a look at New Atlantis, this completely sold me on the game. Just, just sold me instantly. I was like, I am fucking playing this game. I don't care what it takes. Come hell or high water, I am playing this game. And yeah. So uh, yeah, I said I'm, I'm definitely upgrading my computer. I'm, I'm freaking playing this game. Um, we're in town. First thing you could do is go to your spacesuits, click on spacesuits, and you're gonna see this option down here, hide in settlements. Press that button for you, and your spacesuit will be hidden whenever you go into town. So that you know, if you look in third person, you'll see that instead of seeing yourself dressed up in your spacesuit, and there's a similar option for your helmet. Right here, hide in breathable areas. Let's just press that, T. And let's go through our loot. This is the only real promising thing. We have a lot of ammo. A lot of the, the, the weapon choices has to do with ammo. Some of the ammo is quite rare. I've got a list of where to find a lot of rare ammo. I'm going to be rare ammo rather, and I'm going to be going through that as we go through the game. Some weapons I just hang on to just to have to, like some spare ammo. Um, what I really consider oh, a modified Grindel long barrel, modified Grindel muzzle brake, and um, oh, Vasco's got my uh, maelstroms. Right. Okay. Let's start offloading. Sell. Weapons. Don't want it. I'm not going to be using laser weapons in this walker. Um, two modified. One with long barrel, that means better accuracy, and one with muzzle brake. Um, let's sell this one. Got four rescue assets, don't need that. In fact, I don't even think we need a melee weapon at all anymore, so let's just sell that. And that. And where is that instigating rip shank? Laser pistol, don't want it. Packs. Oh, we got a boost pack. But we're going to get um, a boost pack from completing this mission anyways. Let's sell one and keep one. Obviously, this is no good to us anymore because we want a pack that has at least boost power on it. We'll sell that. The game's complaining. Let me just throw this on. There you go. Alright. Typically, I look at the physical damage 61, 69. And it says 15 thermal, it says better, better thermal and better corrosive, but not as good airborne and radiation. Now I'm going to stick with the original, simply because it weighs less. Packs, we only have one, helmets. I really like the look of this one. This is this is hilarious. Too bad it's not as good. I like this one too. Oh, and this vendor is out of money. Okay. Where's Vasco? 
fucking real. Good. Give me my loot, Vasco, before I forget. Captain, Constellation will be. I am ready to come. Okay. We're going this way, down the ramp. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on the And I am hurting. What's up? You have an affliction, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so if you have an affliction, it's gonna be indicated here in your status and you gotta look for what color triangle is there that's all you have to then go back to your aid and just look for something that has the same color triangle as this it's that simple so let's go here we go we found the bandages take one of these that'll cure it Sergeant Yumi is looking for reliable people to help a guard. Contact him if you're interested. Let's see if he can make it all the way to Jemison's Mercantile without running out of oxygen. The oxygen meter is running down, and we made it. He frequently buys chocolate here, though I have informed him. Hi there. Hey. Thanks for stopping in. I can take care of transactions. Very good. Oh, please take a look. Okay. Vendor sell weapons. Don't need two Grandels. And obviously don't need eight Maelstroms. Probably don't even need we're gonna buy a better Maelstrom shortly. And I'm keeping all the others just because like for ammo, you know what I mean? It's great to have like different kinds of weapons, like one of each different kind of weapon. So if you ever run out of ammo you switch to another weapon which uses different kind of ammo. So I'm good with that. Um, Spacesuits, that's good. Packs, that's good. Helmets, we don't need all these helmets. What did I say? I wanted to keep this one? Yeah, just for like, it's a matter of style. Appreciate the business. Yeah, I like that one. May not be the best strategic choice, but I like the way it looks if on it her. If it belongs on your ship, oh, please, take a look. The difference is negligible. Okay, you go, you go, you go. Apparel. This we're definitely keeping. Both of these are butt ugly. Um, so is that, but, um... Let's just sell both of these. I have a better idea for apparel. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. Okay, so we're down to 57. A little heavy because... Um, carrying some extra weapons. Let's go to the lodge. Follow the magic blue dot. We got our... I finally figured out this is New Atlantis Transit or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Yeah, okay. That's nice. Um <laughs> can't wait to get rid of you. Um when you bring up your scanner and it draws this magic arrow line to your next objective, I finally figured out why it does not appear sometimes. It's because what it does is when you first bring up your scanner it will flash six or seven times and that's it and then you have to bring up your scanner again it does that every single time that's why it seems to disappear because it only appears for six or seven times and it disappears watch bring it up again one two three four five six seven that's it see that's why it disappears you just if it disappears just close your scanner and bring it up again. All right? Who loves you? Slack loves us. That's right. Don't you forget it. All right. So we're going to the mass district.
How much money do we have? 12,000, that's just about right. Okay, so straight up the ramp and we're going to cut to the le to the right. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. Let's New Atlantis your... relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Okay, follow the magic arrows. And there is the lodge. Messaged the other members of Constellation. And we're in. Captain, everyone will be in the library. Inside, if Derek were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now. Quiet now. He hopes you'll make this place your home. Oh, please. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Mm, certainly. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Why I'm here and he isn't? Um, doesn't matter. Have your artifact. Who are you? Why don't we start with you telling me what const? Yeah, here's a good one. Why don't you start by telling me what constellation is? Hmm. Very well. This is a private organization dedicated to exploration, space primarily but also anomalies throughout the settled systems. It's inherently dangerous work, so if one of our own doesn't show up as planned, then we tend to have questions. Speaking of which, where is Barrett? Where is Barrett? Um, okay, here's the deal. Pirates attacked and Barrett asked me to deliver the artifact. I see. Huh? Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. <laughs> oh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. She's here, with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Well, uh, bright lights, music... Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Country, if you expect us to believe in fairy... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But, gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. All right. Let's do this. That's it. Just like we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves... Easy, girl. Yeah. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? Yeah. <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? I love her accent. Okay, yep, I'm in. I'm in. Tell me what happens next. 
You should take some time to get settled in. Excellent. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here. I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Yeah, gives you 8,000 credits. And you earn 400 XP. And you get the lodge key. I hope you and a boost pack. are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Okay, so first things first. Um, let's just deactivate this mission because we're not going to do that just yet. And next, we have a backpack with boost capability. The constellation pack. Basic boost pack. <clears throat> Basic boost pack, rather. Let's throw that on. Oh, wait, we already have one. But this one has better physical damage negate or physical damage resistance. So we're going with this and we'll sell that one. Next, don't forget to pick up this constellation guy. Permanently reduces fall damage by 5%. There's like a whole bunch of these all around the game. You pick up, I believe, 20 of them. You earn an achievement. So there's one right there. Don't forget that. Next, we've been given the lodge key. I am at your service, Captain. Um, just, just um, stay there. Stop talking to me. <laughs> the lodge key will open the basement door. Let's go down in the basement. In the basement is every conceivable piece of equipment in the game. There is a pharmaceutical lab, there is a cooking station, there is an industrial workbench, there is a spacesuit workbench, and there is a weapon workbench, and there's also a storage box here that has unlimited storage. And it's also a med pack and some weapons. Oh, sweet! Oh, sweet! Two of them! Jeez, I was gonna buy one. That's, that's completely luck. That's completely random. I was gonna buy one of these. I got two of them. Okay, that solves that problem. That's completely random. You may not have gotten the same thing. Is that a zero wire? Yes, it is. And an adaptive frame. Let's grab that. Oh, two of them. Grab that. And we're good to go. Alright, so you can kind of use this as a base of operations. We also have a bed upstairs. And I'm in need of some doctoring, so let's go hit up the bed. Up here. This goes outside. Okay, to New Atlantis. In here. This first room here, this is somebody else's room, but there's some free creds. Creds, like right here. You can grab those. And that. Uh, and you can pause the video and read this up if you so desire. Done and done. Our room is down here. Next to the boardroom. This one right here. See, you can sleep in this bed. And another unlimited storage here. And you see the mass of a container and it has just like two dashes like that. That means unlimited storage. So for example, let's stash something in here. I think it's unlimited. So let's stash a coachman. Yep, unlimited. All right, have a little nap. Get the well rested bonus. All right, having done that, out here, cut to the left, and we're going to go to the bar. In the bar, two very important items. Go to these books here. Grab Moby Dick. This is another two thousand credit book. Make sure you grab this. And grab Dracula. 
2,000 credits. So I just picked you up 8,000 credits worth of books. Who loves you? Slack loves us. That's right. Don't you forget it. And this will sell for one eighth of its value. So that's worth 80 bucks. Might as well grab that. That's interesting. I'm just going to grab that for my own personal interest. And, um, what's this? Grab this too. If you turn on your scanner, first of all, um, you can ask Noel to give you a tour. That's that's Noel right there. There's no XP involved in that tour. She just gives you a tour and she tells you that you can help yourself to the bar within reason, quote unquote. Um, there's a ton of booze here, all of which gives you persuasion bonus a bonus. If you turn on your scanner, you can see all the booths. You just grab it all here. I'm not really that fond of the persuasion mechanic in this game, but there are some situations where we may need to do that. So those bottles of booze found in aid, all of them have some kind of persuasion bonus, plus 9% persuasion chance, etc., etc. We're going to stash those in the captain's locker. Okay, so having done all so that, Swiped any new what's next, Mr. Laptop? Free booze, we got that. Exit, follow sidewalk. Oh, yeah, right. Around here, you know? but sure. If you bring up a uh, quick data menu and then go to the bottom left to your ship, and you see our ship currently has 310 shield. If we assign Vasco to our crew, um, he'll give a bonus to our shield to bump it up to, I believe, 373. Let's do that. I am at your service, him. Captain. Captain, now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Attaboy. Also... Okay, I could use you on my crew. Captain, I will proceed to my assigned post. Okay, manage your crew, review and change their assignments between your ships and outposts. Different crew have different skills which enhance your ship or outpost. Okay, so as you can see, um, confirm and he benefits shield systems, anatronic fusion and electromagnetic weapon systems. This is what we're concerned with right now. Okay, so he's now part of our crew. I'm not sure if it shows right now or if you have to actually go back to your ship. Oh yeah, I think we have to actually go back to our ship. Because he's not there yet. For now. Let's... Exit. Turn to the left. And going towards the medical sign, the Reliant Medical. But just veer off to the left a little more. And find EIT Clothiers. Please Talk let me know. This guy. You won't find a larger. Be my guest. And let's buy some better apparel. Something that gives a persuasion bonus and also has pretty good physical damage resistance. Like this green fashionable suit. He has 20 physical damage resistance and gives a plus 5 persuasion chance. Let's play one of these. Some Your apparel patronage that's is actually useful. Okay, so apparel. There you go. Looking really spiffy there, Chewbacca. Alright, right next door in this Orion Tower, there's actually some chump chains. Chump chains right at the top. If you take the elevator up, just keep sitting and let's go grab it. Let's build like 500 credits worth of chump chains. Let's go down here. Right there. This is the, you don't even have to steal it. Just go like. Go figure. <laughs> Next! Um, 
We want to fast travel to Mast. Not the Lodge. Great, Mast District. They just kind of point to medical. Bring up your scanner, point to that, and you'll be able to fast travel to it. That's basically the subway. Okay, so now we're back at the subway, which is just down there. And we're going to take the subway to the residential district. Residential. And we're going to get a better weapon. Right now, we've been dealing with automatic weapons. It would be much better to have a semi-auto maelstrom. That would be way, way better. Use a lot less ammo. So, um, sorry, I just, I know exactly where I'm going. Okay, so from the med, the subway, turn to the left a little bit. And you're going to see Centaurian Arsenal right here. Cent what's it called? Yeah, Centaurian Arsenal. Right here. They always have a semi-auto Maelstrom for sale. At this point. There's nothing, nothing that ensures personal safety and security the way a firearm can. Welcome to Centaurian Arsenal. It is my absolute pleasure to assist you with any purchases or questions you may have. All sales are final, but that won't matter because you will undoubtedly be pleased with your purchase. You have my word. Huh. All right, let's see what you have for sale. Please, take a look. Okay, I want to be pleased. And let's just sort it by damage. She always has this. Costs a pretty penny. And I was going to buy one of these. But um, we already have one. This is a pretty good buy too. Cost five thousand, but we can get away with just getting having a modified. Here we go. Yep, she always seems to have this. These two. Both of them are semi-auto. This one has a short scope, and this one has. They both have short scopes. This one has better accuracy. Oh, 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 hello. Armor piercing rounds. Hello. Yeah, going with this one, even though it costs a little more. Definitely. Okay, there we go. So, um, now I'm going to get picky and choosy about the weapons I'm keeping on board. So, one of the coachmen's, um, that's our new weapon. This only has 62 ammo, so forget it. We don't need uh, a crappy Maelstrom, so let's sell that. That's got a considerable amount of ammo, but these are all the same. Compensator, long barrel, let's sell that one, sell that one. That works, I'll keep all the rest. Now, ammo. You. Fantastic. You go in slot number four. The Grendel, you go in slot number three. That's our backup. Actually, what am I thinking? The shotgun goes in slot number three. Definitely. That's for like emergency close range. Okay, so Coachman, we have 120 rounds. That's pretty good. <clears throat> and um, a little short on 6.5 mm. Let's see. You know, <coughs> pardon me. Let's see. If she has that ammo. Only the fuck. Ammo. Four hundred and sixty. Awesome. And that's going to cost. Well, it's going to cost a pretty penny. Wow. 
We're going to be making money though. Yeah, I want lots of ammo. Packing. Packing. All right, I think we are ready. I think that's everything on my list. Oh yeah, finally. Um, we have leveled up. Let's put a point into ballistics too, since we completed this challenge. Set up a new challenge. Kill 50 enemies with a ballistic weapon. And finally, let's go to Aquila and sell off those books and make 8,000 credits right back. Which is why I was so uh, spendthrifty with um, buying some ammo. So we're good. Map, bring it out to the galaxy map. And we want to go to Cheyenne. But we don't, not, we don't have enough juice in the tank to get there. So we're going to have to stop off at Olympus. And then jump to Cheyenne. So, Olympus, jump. And let's just wait for the XP to come in because we discovered. Where's my XP? Attaboy. Alright. Galaxy map. Cheyenne. Jump. Punch it, Chewie. <laughs> See, that's why I called her Chewbacca. Every, every time I say, punch it, Chewie. Makes sense. You're good to go. Have a nice good time to. in Aquila City. All right. So I'll bring up the maps, spin on around, click on Aquila City, land, and we're good to go. Like the man said. Okay, get up. Where's Vasco? Did I misclick and not assign him to my crew? Nope, he's here. My shield is 372. Should be 373. Alright, I just want to go into the captain's locker here. Stash these spare weapons. Just bring in the coach. Um, stash that, stash that, and that. Just bring the modified maelstrom and the coachman and the cutter. That should be fine for our needs. And I seem like a little, I'm a little heavy. Resources, that's what it is. In you go. That's what I'm talking about. And the books, what's this? Digipix, that's good. Oh yeah, the booze. Let's just, we don't need the booze. Let's just bring one. 
<laughs> Full food spiced worms. Mmm. Spiced worms. Oh. Surprised Basco isn't here. There he is. Okay, we're going to town, Basco. So that's some kind of lame attempt at a casual greeting. Kila City, the dusty western town. It's actually a lot nicer at nighttime. And we're gonna get a cost by this guy. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Well, if people are in danger, I want to help. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help will do some good. Alright, so we have a new mission. With the Free Star Collective. Job gone wrong. There's a mission objective right there, the Marshal. Let's just disengage that for now. Still want to take care of some business. Some final business for this video. Okay. Okay, that's the mission right there. Explain that first thing next video. Go straight ahead. To the rock. Okay. Go up these stairs here. Up these stairs here. Turn to the north. Through here. Cut to the right a bit, and down here, and you find Sinclair's books. Could I get the digital copy of the things I Let's buy Let's talk here? to Anjong Sinclair. If you ever find an old Earth printing of City of God, I have been looking for it for ages. Really now? So, are there any books you were looking for? I am a bit of an aficionado of old Earth novels. Well, really truth not. be told, it's more of an obsession. <laughs> Reading their stories is a revelation, not only for, you know, the pure imagination, but the window you get into long gone historical eras. I'll pay handsomely for any books you find like that. Except Charles Dickens. Definitely not Charles Dickens. What's wrong with Charles Dickens? Oh, oh nothing wrong at all. When colonists were forced to leave Earth for good, cargo space was precious, and for some reason everyone thought to bring their Charles Dickens collection. No, no, I mean, I mean, he was an amazing writer. His stories are timeless, but what I'd give for a copy of Sense and Sensibility, or the Three Musketeers, oh! The original Three Musketeers, mind you, not the dozens of interpretations of it. Okay. Well, you're going to make it worth my while, worth my while, right? I will, I assure you. I love the enthusiasm. Okay, so the question to ask her to offload the books that we sold, or picked up rather, is if I have any books for your old Earth collection, I'll sell them to you. Oh my goodness, is that Dracula? Indeed the it is. The original story. I simply must have this. Oh, oh, thank you. Check this out. 2,000 credits. Again? Yeah, let's do it again. If I have any books for your old Earth collection, I'll sell them to you. Omega The Last Days. Yeah. Oh, I can't say I've heard of it, but this looks fascinating. I hope this suffices. I know what I'm reading tonight. Another 2,000 credits. And again. Oh, Moby Dick. Moby I Dick, how about that? I copies. I foolishly sold both. I'm happy to have it returned to my collection. Thank you. Another two thousand credits. And finally, how'd you like a nice copy of War of the Worlds? War of the Worlds. Need yep. I say more? Here, take my money. I almost want to close up the shop. Two thousand credits. Eight thousand credits just selling books. Who loves you? Slack loves us, that's right. And don't you forget it. And finally, um a purchase? Yes. We got these other books. Um that's only worth 12 bucks. Okay. Where's that? Uh, no, hang on to that. That's worth some money. Or worth some XP. This origin is species. Sell that. Frankenstein. Keep that. One of these I wanted to read. Now I suddenly lost interest. <laughs> Keep that. There. 
mass is down to respectable 41. What? Why not? And I got 16,000 credits. Okay, we're good to go. Sell books, physical books. Space now. Back to business. I'm on my ship. If I could download it to my slate, I could have a whole library. That way. Right there. That's what's coming up next. Job gone wrong. That's it for this video. My name is Major Slack, and I approve this video. If you do too, please give the old Slacks their big old thumbs up, post a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. Now, did the Slackster take care of business or what? Huh? Yeah. All right. Who loves you? Slack loves us. That's right. See you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.